Hi guys, my name is Kelsey from the Sorry Girls and today I'm going to teach you how to patch a hole in your jeans. Three different methods. No sewing machine required. Starting with method number one, which is how to fix a small straight tear in your jeans. So if you have a small tear and you wanna fix it, the easiest solution is going to be a ladder stitch. It's called a ladder stitch because it looks like a ladder. For this, you will need an iron-on denim patch that matches your jeans, a needle and denim thread, and an iron. I'll be using a contrasting thread color to show you the stitch pattern, but you will wanna use a thread that's matching to your jeans when you do this at home. If your tear has any frayed edges, trim these down with some fabric scissors to get a nice clean edge. Thread your needle and tie a knot in one end. I also like to tie a knot in the thread while looping through a thread of the material in order to ensure that the knot won't pull through between the denim threads. I'm starting with the needle at the bottom of the tear, coming through to the outside of the denim. Create a ladder stitch by going across, in from the outside of the denim, then up, bringing the needle back through to the front of the denim. Repeat across and up, across and up, across and up, until you reach the top of your tear. The across part of your stitch should be on the outside of your jeans in order for this to work. The size of your ladder stitch should follow the size of your tear while gradually tapering in at the bottom and top of the tear in order for it to look seamless when we pull it tight. Which is next, this part is absolutely magic. Gently pull the thread tight to close up your rip and go ahead and tie off and knot your thread. For added support and to prevent further ripping, I'm going to add a denim patch to the back of this repair. While inside out, I'm ironing the small flaps created by the stitch flat and open. And then I'm cutting out an iron on denim patch in a shape that's slightly larger than the repaired rip. I'm gonna round the edges so that no sharp corners will lift on the patch. Go ahead and iron the patch to the inside of the jeans. Following your instructions, usually it's about a minute. And just like that, your straight hair is fully mended. Next up, we have my favorite pair of jeans that I've needed to fix. Now this is how to patch a hole in your jeans. It might be a hole that was pre-existing that has kind of like expanded, or it might be a new hole that's happened from wear. It's important to note that for this method, we're going to be repairing the hole and securing it from future ripping, but we will not be hiding it completely. But don't worry, we'll make it look aesthetic. For this, you will need an iron-on denim patch that matches your jeans, a needle, and denim or cotton thread, and an iron. Start by trimming any loose threads to start with a clean hole. Next, we're going to cut a piece of the patch that's a little bit larger than your hole shape. Once cut, flip your jeans inside out and insert a piece of card to protect your jeans from the adhesion glue that's gonna be coming through on the patch. Then you can go ahead and iron the patch to the inside of your jeans following the instructions on your patch. Usually it's about 60 seconds. Flipping the jeans back right side round, I'm going to add some extra stitching across the hole. You can either do this in a white cotton thread to mimic the look of a distressed hole or jean, or you can do it in a blue or color that matches your denim in order for it to blend in. Starting with your knotted thread and needle coming from the inside of the jeans, you can use a straight stitch to go back and forth horizontally across the patched hole. When you've completely covered the hole, tie the thread off on the inside of the jeans a few times to secure. These patched up really nicely and I've prevented further ripping in this area and I get to wear my favorite jeans again. Yay. Honestly, why didn't I do this sooner? And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to repair distressed rips without a patch backing. Now this is going to be a cosmetics fix versus a structural fix um, and it's just gonna help us make this hole look like brand new. A brand new old hole. To fill back in this hole, you'll need a needle and a white cotton thread, or whichever color works best for your denim. If your tear has any frayed edges, trim these down with some fabric scissors to start with a clean hole. Start by threading your needle. The amount of thread doesn't really matter too much here because we can always easily add more on. Make sure that your thread is securely knotted off. Again, I like to include a thread or two of the material in order to get a solid knot that won't pull through. Push the needle from the inside of the jeans, starting on one side of your rip, and then run your thread over the width of the hole without pulling it tight, and then push your needle into your denim on the other side of the rip. Then pull the thread back over to the other side of the rip where you started and push it in through the inside of the jeans. When making these stitches, make sure to go about a quarter of an inch or six millimeters away from the edge of the hole, otherwise the stitch will actually pull at the threads of the denim, causing it to unravel. After a couple times going back and forth, make sure that you add a little knot on the inside of the denim in order to keep the strands taut and even. Go ahead and repeat this until you're just about out of thread, and when you are, make sure you tie it off in a knot along one of the frayed edges. Then you can go ahead and thread your needle again with more thread and continue. Once you've filled the hole as much as you've liked, tie it off a few times at the end, and you're done. Why throw away or donate your jeans when you can easily 
fix them up. Honestly, jean shopping is pretty difficult, so I'd much rather go through this easy effort of repairing them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure you guys are subscribed down below for more how-to episodes and tutorials. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. We've all been there. Instead of uh, securing it and fiddling the... Could have like all of them on me. Yeah. Cool. Good? Do you want one more? One that isn't done? Okay. <laughs> cool? Crushed it. <laughs> Crushed it. Oh, sh